Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble up, kids! Word alive! Hi, everyone! Hi! Oh my goodness! We we are so excited today, aren't we? Yes. We have a totally different thing we're doing today. We are reading a book. Today is a super exciting show. Yeah. You don't want to miss it. But before we get into the book, Josh, can you tell us the title of the book? ABCs from the Bible. ABCs from the Bible, and it's by Miss Yvonne Morgan. And Miss Yvonne Morgan is right here with us. Let's all say hi to Miss Yvonne Morgan, friends. Hi. hi. Thank you so much for joining us, Miss Morgan. This is such an honor to have you on the show. I am super excited. So let's just dig into the book, okay? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go to the very first page. ABCs from the Bible. What is the first letter of the alphabet? A. A. Terrific. A is for angels who guard us day and night night oh i love that beautiful what's the next alphabet after a b. b b is for the bible which shows us god's light i love do you read your bible every day friends yeah. Yeah. terrific what's the next alphabet after b c c c is for the cross that takes our sins away oh i know we just celebrated easter friends and we remembered when jesus died on the cross for us right so c stands for the cross mm -hmm. when he died and he was arrested okay what's the next alphabet up to c d. d d is for the disciples with whom jesus stayed how many disciples did Jesus have? Twelve! Good job, friends. Jesus had 12 disciples. What's the next alphabet after D? E. E is for Eden, the garden at the beginning of time. Oh, the garden of Eden. So beautiful, friends. Can't you see? What's after E? F. 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 Is for the fear God will remove from our minds. Are we all afraid sometimes? Yeah. God is able to remove all fear from our minds. What's the next after F? G. G is for God who created everything we see. Whoa! Did God create the whole wide world? Did God create the daddy? God created everything. So what's the next alphabet after G? H. H is for heaven. One day our home eternally. I love that. One day, friends, we're all going to be in heaven. I hope you'll be ready for that when it gets there. Yes or no? Are you going to be ready for heaven? Yes! yes. Terrific, friends. I. I is for inside our hearts. Where Jesus does live. Friends, does Jesus live in your heart? Yes! Yeah. Terrific. Jesus lives in my heart too. I mean, Miss Morgan's heart too. What's up to I? Yeah. J. J is for Jesus, who for us, his life he did give. J is for Jesus. I'm reading that again. Who for us, his life he did give. We all remember again Easter when Jesus gave his life for all of us because of our sins. Right, friends? Yes! yes. Terrific. What's up to J? Yes. K. K is for kneeling to pray where we should be found. Friends, do we pray every day? Yes. yes. Yes? Terrific. I'm glad we pray every day, friends. What's after K? L. L. L is for the love we show to all those around. I love these pictures. I see mommy cutting up some apples. I see brother and sisters. I mean, these are beautiful illustrations. Miss Morgan, we love the illustrations in the book. L is for love, and we should always remember to love our family and our friends, okay? What's after L? M. M. 
M is for the moon that gives light in the dark. Whoa. Do we all see the moon out in the night yes. sometimes? Yes. yes. What's after M? N. N. N is for nature, like found in the beauty of a park. Oh, I love this park. What are the kids doing? It looks like they're playing soccer. Yeah, I love it. That is terrific. What's after N? O. Oh. O. Oh. 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 Oh, it's for open our hearts to welcome the Lord. Friends, mm -hmm. do you know you have to open your heart to yourself? Yes. Your yes. mommy, your yes. mommy or your daddy or anyone else cannot open your heart for Jesus to come in there and live there. Only you can open your heart for Jesus to come live there. So I love O. O is for open our hearts to welcome the Lord. What's after O? P. P. P is for promises that God will never hold. God is faithful, friends. He always keeps his promises. Even when it looks like he doesn't, he always does. Okay? What's after P? Oh, I love this rainbow, friends. Don't you love it? I love it. And that's one of the signs God gave Noah, right? When God said, I will never destroy the earth with water ever again. So that's a promise that God has kept, right? What's after P? Q. 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 Q is for shh, quiet. As we enter our church to pray, okay, friends? So Q is for shh, quiet. Okay, what's after Q, friends? R. R. R is for rest from our work both day and night. Rest. <laughs> after a long day's work, we need to rest. What's after R? S. S is for the sun that God placed in the sky. I love the sunlight. Don't you love the sunlight, friends? Yeah. What's after S, friends? T. T. T is for trust. That only Jesus can supply. Can we trust Jesus forever and ever? Yeah. 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 T is for trust. What's up to T, friends? You. You. You is for upward. To look at the heavens above the earth. You is for upward. So when we look up, can we all look up, friends? Well, I see the ceiling here, but if we step outside and we look up, we can see the heavens. So after reading this book, I want you to step outside and look up. For you, it's for upward, and you're going to see the heavens above. Okay, friends? What's up to you? V. 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 V is for verses in the Bible that explain our work. We have been learning lots of memory verses right here on the bubble up kids show right and that's exactly what v is for v is for verses in the bible that explain our worth and i love this verse in the picture can you guys all see the verse in the picture it's from psalm 127 verse 3 and it says children i gift from the lord they are a reward from him i love that is such a beautiful gift we parents never forget that you our little kids a beautiful gift from God to us. What's up to me? W. W. W is for water that God made to lap upon the shore. Whoa, I love going to the seaside. Do you all love going to the seaside? Especially in the summer? Yeah, I love it. What's up to W? X. X is for xylophone to make music to praise our God. Do you all love to praise God? Yeah. Do you all dance and lift up your hands and clap your hands and shout and use instruments to praise God? Okay. What's up to X? Y is for you. Can you see how Jesus is pointing to you? No. Y is for you. The person God created you to be. Okay, so you 
are specially created by God. Never forget that, friends. What's up, Tawai? Z. 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 Z is for zebra. God created for us to see. I love the zebra. Now, friends, this was a terrific book. Oh, my goodness, friends. No wonder this book has won so many awards. Friends, let's give Miss Yvonne a big round of applause for writing this book for all of us. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Thank you, friends. And thank you, friends at home. If you really enjoyed reading this book with us, you can tell your mommies or your daddies to just get a copy of this book for you. As easy as that. It can be found on Amazon, and I'm going to post all the links of all the places where you can get a copy of this book to buy. Okay, friends, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Okay, Miss Morgan, are you ready for our questions, please? Miss Yvonne, I really liked your book, but why did you write it? Well, thank you. Well, my first few books, I didn't do children's books, and then we started having grandchildren. And I realized there's not a lot of good books, Christian books out there. So I thought, well, I want to write some books for my grandchildren. And that's how these came about. Wow, friends. Oh, Miss Morgan, this is so beautiful. Miss Morgan said she wrote the book for her grandkids. Isn't that so beautiful? Do you all friends at home have grandparents too? Yes. yes. Exactly. That is terrific. Thank you, Miss Morgan, for thinking about us and writing it for us. Okay, we know we have another question. Do you always want to be an author? I, I did when I was very little. When I was in elementary school, I thought about being a writer, but then life got busy and I started growing up and went to college and decided to do something else. But now I realized I should have been doing it all along, but at least I'm doing it now and it's been wonderful. God has blessed me and I, I thank him for giving me that desire once again. Wow, Miss Yvonne, that is so beautiful. So you always wanted to be an author, and this is not even part of Josh's question. I'm just bouncing off your response that you always wanted to be an author, but you lost focus, you know, because life happened. So what would you tell the little kids who are watching us right now who want to be authors? What would you tell them, you know, to keep their focus? What would you tell them to do? Well, I did a lot. When I was in elementary school, I wrote lots of stories and lots of poems and different things and just kept doing it. And then, like I said, as you got into high school, you had to write for other classes and so much homework. I didn't keep doing it. So if you love doing it, just keep doing it because no author starts out being good. You learn by practice. So writing lots and lots of stories, maybe they're not good at first, but they'll get that way. Wow, friends, did you hear that? That even when life gets so busy, don't stop doing what you love. If it's writing, you have to make sure you always still find time to write and keep doing those things that you love. Thank you so much, Miss Yvonne, for that answer. So how and when did you start writing? Well, I did a lot. Of, when I was in elementary school, I wrote lots of stories and lots of poems and different things and just kept doing it. And then, like I said, as you got into high school, you had to write for other classes and so much homework. I didn't keep doing it. So if you love doing it, just keep doing it because no author starts out being good. You learn by practice. So writing lots and lots of stories, maybe they're not good at first, but they'll get that way. Is this the first children's book you've ever written? I finally, professionally, I started writing about seven years ago. Um, shortly before I retired from the business world, it's like, oh, once I retire, I'm going to want to have something to do. So it's like, okay, let me get back to writing. And that's when I got back. And at first I was only going to write one book and then now we've had lots. So it keeps going. No, actually, this is my second one. My first one is called The Sad Little Wildflower. Um, it's also has a story about a sad flower that wants to be something else, but then she meets Jesus and he helps her to learn, to understand, to be happy as he made her. And then I thought that was good for some of my older grandchildren. And then as the babies came around, the grandbabies, I thought, well, I need a, a, a book that will help them learn their alphabet. So this was my second one. But Miss Yvonne will really love to have 
this book to read on the show again. So guys, stay tuned because we are definitely going to come back with Miss Yvonne and read The Sad Little Wildflower. What other children's books do you have and where can we get them? Well, one, it should be, uh, my next one should be out this summer, um, if God willing. It is for a little bit older children. It's considered a chapter book and it's called Mary the Missionary. And she goes on an adventure to Kenya with her parents. And so it's all about a, a family taking a missionary trip to Kenya and how she learns all about different cultures and how Jesus loves all children, no matter where they live, no matter where they're from, Jesus loves everybody. And she learns that lesson while she's traveling. Wow, friends, when this book comes out in the summer, I am personally going to make sure I get a copy of that book. You know what? How many of you even know where Kenya is? Josh, do you know where Kenya is? I think it's in East Africa. Yes, Kenya is in yeah, East yeah. Africa. And I think this book will be such a great book. Now, all too soon, we've come to the end of this beautiful reading session. Thank you so much, Miss Yvonne Morgan, for joining us on this special episode of our reading edition. And thank you for giving us your beautiful book that has won so many awards all over the world. It really deserves the awards. And friends, don't forget to tell mommy and daddy to get you this book from Bubble Up Kids Show. All the links to the places where you can buy the book is going to be in the description of this video. And Josh, thank you for the questions. Those are really insightful questions. Now, friends, let's say a mighty good big bye to Miss Yvonne Morgan and to all bye. our friends. Bye. 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 Subscribe to Bubble Up Kids YouTube channel and don't miss any episodes. Let's go tell everyone about Bubble Up Kids. Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble Up Kids, word alive!